Moving on then, I've uh, got the King Arms bits and pieces here that I bought for my foul. Um, as I mentioned, it came with one mag already, so as I tend to always run with four, which is uh, what I'll be carrying in the pouches I did in the last video. Um, bought another three, so I'm sure these will be about the same as the one that came with the gun. Cardboard and plastic's actually got a bubble wrap inside, which is fairly rare for packaging um, in this sort of style to have extra bubble wrap. So that's a nice feature. Uh, King Arms FN Foul Cowl 7.60 by 51 NATO. Got an Allen screw on the bottom there, which I don't think the real ones do. Um, but oh well, not really going to notice that. It's pretty good metal, same as the one uh, that came with the gun. Uh, 90 round mid cap mags. Again, these probably cost. I see. I wish. I wish I kept the invoice nearby because I can't quite tell off the top of my head. These probably run you about the same each as a PTS magazine, so a P mag or an E mag or whatever. But they are nice metal. They are. I've been using uh, the one that came with my gun a fair bit. Uh, and they are, they're well made, they feed no problem, they click in the place solid and they stay in there pretty solidly, they don't wobble about too much. 90 rounds is, it's not a massive amount, it'd be nice to have a bit more, at least 100 or maybe 120 would be good, especially since these are pretty chunky, I mean they're shorter, but they're a lot wider than a 5.56 Stanag mag, so it would have been nice if they could fit a bit more in, I would have thought, but I'm sure they would have if they could have. So we just have to live with that, sadly. Um, get the feeling there might actually be some more stuff for these packed away in this box here. Maybe, maybe not because it's got silicone on. This is the box for the AK2 M4 front end adapter. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, so that part one of the video I did where I said this is everything I've ordered, that was all bollocks. There's more in here, which is space saving um, on uh, WGC side of things, it must be said. Yes, yes, we've got lots of, lots of things. Now, yeah, although by the looks of it, they've fucked up a little bit. Because we've not got it quite right. Now, what I did order was four magpuls to fit these magazines. But that's yeah, that's not going to that's not going to be going on there. So I'll be speaking to WGC about that. That's a little bit disappointing. Um, oh well. I'm knowing them; they are a good company. Sure, they'll sort that out. But yeah, I was going. I was planning on putting four only magpuls on my foul mags, but mm, we'll possibly have to see about getting a refund for that. Oh, drop that. And the black ones, as in the last part of the video, these will be going on my e mags. Ooh, I'll just throw stuff everywhere. Why not? Uh, also for the. AK will go off track a bit slightly. From my King Oz AK that I did the other day, this is the enhanced selector lever. So, what it does is fire into its shell. Why not? I'll try not to stab myself with staples. Although, I'm sure you will get a laugh if I do that. What it does, you simply unscrew little dial up the uh, screw on the side of the gun that holds this your selector on. Take the old one off, this one pops right on, screw it back on, easy as that. Uh, and basically what it does, this bit here sticks down more. So when your hand's on the pistol grip, you can reach that and you can change your selection without having to take your hand off and flick it as you had to do the old style, which is a nice improvement, I think. And uh, it actually comes with a new screw there to fit it onto your gun, which is good. Nice, I'm not sure what metal it is. It's a good weight to it, yeah, I'm sure. 
nice looking finish. Yeah. I'll do nicely. Also, the tactical mag catch. Now, the other main gripe I have with the ergonomics of AKs, apart from the selector, well, I have a gripe with pretty much every fire control on an AK. I think, personally, I, I think it's all quite old and not very ergonomic at all, and functional. So, hence why I'm replacing the selector lever and the mag catch. The trigger is a trigger, not a lot you can really. I don't think you even can get different ones for AKs. I've not, personally, in my airsoft time, I've not seen a replacement or a different or any sort of upgraded trigger for an AK. But this thing, rather than just a little tab in the center, you've got a great big knurled bar. So you just bam. You won't even have to look at the gun, you know. Obviously, this can be got around with practice, etc., etc., but it just makes it easier. Four holes there, but to install it to the gun, you just take out the hex bolts, arm keys, bolts, whatever, and screw them back on, and that replaces your trigger guard and your mag catch, all in a one and it just makes it a lot easier to get mags out of there, just go onto it, and you're not having to... Get, make sure you get it dead down the centre anymore. You can just do it left or on the right um, if you're left handed as well. It's going to make things uh, a bit easier as well as if you're right handed like normal. Well, like normal's maybe a bit harsh. I'm not saying left handed people are weird because I don't want to, I would not want to be seen slagging off my left handed viewer base. That wouldn't be very nice. Yeah, they're good metal. Uh, as for my King Arms, all my other King Arms stuff here, it's not, it's not the most Gucci amazing stuff in the world, but it's all good. Um, it's, it's all decent. Found mid caps yet, yeah, so that's three of them. I would have been putting Michaels on, but WGC has sent me the wrong ones. They've got five, five, six, and they've seven, six, two. Oh well, I'll be getting onto them, and I will talk about that in the well as soon as I've heard from them. The next video after I've heard from them. I'll, I'll let you all know what results I have from that and see how good their customer services are seeing as they've made a bit of a mistake there so there's my set of magazines for the foul and here's the scope mount now I like to use a magnifying optic so three or four times when I'm skirmishing because my eyes aren't so great and it just helps me out a lot personally I have a standard top cover, and the foul is just smooth. This thing, however, comes with some installation instructions, which is nice. Tells you how to take everything apart, which is all good. Install one. Yeah. A lump of metal, whether I'm not sure how that's made. Doesn't look machined, probably just cast, forged or whatever. I'm not an expert on that sort of thing to be honest. But it seems decent enough. There's no no flaws that I can see. Probably just painted <coughs> in terms of surface finish, so it's not gonna be incredibly scratch resistant or anything, but neither's the main body on the gun, so at least it'll look the same standard 20mm rail on the top so whatever we'll give it a test on that I've got my I'll take my aim point off my M4 here so this has got a uh, an element LaRue M68 quick QD scope mount on here and first issue I can see is that the gaps between the rail slots are not all standard at the front end here you've got standard gaps and then here you've got large sections where they're not cut into it. I'm not sure why. It's a bit odd, but oh well. Just find a spot where we can mount it, which will have to be all the way up here on those things. No, not happening. Future's no. 
Oh, maybe. There we go. Now, of course, you can adjust these mounts for um, the fitment and tightness. So, um, if I had my uh, sort of the hex, well, hexagonal keys, not hex as in Allen, but uh, there we go. If you force it, it goes on eventually. Or does it? No, still not there. Uh, no, that's not happening just now, but I'm sure if I adjusted it to go on. It's not actually. Oh, it did. No, that's taking a nice little <laughs> dent out of the metal there. Well, not, it's not dented the metal, it's not quite that bad, but it has taken the paint off. Quite thick paint by the looks of it.